Hey class and welcome to this week's lesson, lesson 10. Just wanted to kick off by saying a big thank you to all of you that were able to complete the um, instructor feedback. I think it was like two or three weeks back I was able to get that information last week and um, I just wanted to say thank you. Overwhelmingly, probably one of the things I need to work on though is making these videos shorter. So I'm gonna try that today. All right, I got my timer up here. I'm gonna try and do this in five minutes. All right, five minutes, here we go. So as we uh, kick off this week, I just wanna give you a heads up that there is a lot of material this week and it might feel a little overwhelming. Um, I don't, you know, as I look through it, I don't think there's that much more than in weeks previous, but I do think the difficulty is a little bit harder. There are a little bit harder concepts to understand. Um, as we look at life skills, we're gonna be talking about fixed versus variable cost. Um, as it pertains to businesses, you can even apply this in your life. You learned a little bit about it um, in PC 101. Um, when you did your personal budgeting, but basically what it boils down to a fixed cost Something it's something that you have to pay regardless whether you use it or not And a variable cost is something that the price varies based on how well your business is doing or how much you use it A really simple example would be a car Let's say you go and you buy a car and you have a monthly car payment on that car Regardless of whether you drive it or not you have to pay that monthly car payment now if you do drive it a lot your variable cost would go up, right? The gas, eventually you're gonna need more oil changes, you're gonna probably go through tires quicker, you're gonna have more maintenance on the car because you drive it more, those would be your variable costs. The fixed cost would be your monthly payment because regardless, you have to pay that. Same thing applies in businesses. Things like rent, electricity, um, insurance costs, salaries, all that kind of stuff, you have to pay regardless um, if, uh, you know, if the business is doing well or not. Your variable costs, things like your cups and your lemons and your sugar and things like that, those are gonna differ based on how many cups of lemonade you sell in a month. Um, so you're gonna be looking at that and that jumps us into this week's um, activity with the, uh, with the team. And what you're gonna be doing with the team is calculating what you call your break even point. And it is exactly what it sounds like. It's the point at which you break even, meaning you, know, you put all this money into renting and having everything and your materials and all that how many units of lemonade do i need to sell before i break even and then you can look at that from a timeline how long is that going to take me is it a month two months three months you know if i'm looking at a calendar year if it takes me 10 months before i break even you know what can i do to to change that so i'm profiting sooner so there's a great excel file that you'll download there's some graphs that go along with it that you'll need to populate the Excel file. It's a graph showing um, percent of demand based on the price of your lemonade and it has some nice graphs. So basically you just, you know, how much am I gonna sell my lemonade for and then what is that demand percentage? Meaning the cheaper you sell your lemonade, the more you're probably gonna sell, but the less you profit on each cup. The more expensive you sell your lemonade, you're not gonna sell as many cups, but you make a bigger profit on each cup. So it's kind of fun to play around with that because there's a balance, right? You wanna be profitable, but you also wanna make sure you're selling. So have fun playing around with that. One thing I would encourage as you um, do the assignment is to fill in all the markets. I know you've chosen a market as a group, but play around with some of the other markets. This is a great opportunity to say, hey guys, we could make more money and be more profitable if we switch to this market and sell at this price point. Let's do it, right? So don't be afraid, don't feel like you're locked into the market you chose and you can't change it. Um, I would start with that one, but then, you know, it's all on the same Excel spreadsheet. So it's, and it's as simple as filling in the yellow highlights. You'll see there's a bunch of yellow highlights that you fill in and it'll do the calculations for you. Um, some things you'll be learning in that, you'll be learning terms like gross profit, net profit, profit margin. Great terms to understand. Um, if you have questions, please let me know. They're just real generic terms you'll hear all the time in business. So it's a real good, real good lesson to get those, uh, that introduction. Um, with the math this week, we'll continue um, working on lines and graphs and that kind of goes along with finding the, uh, the break even point. So again, the math, kind of another step up. Um, and that's where some people might get a little a little tricked up. So if you're struggling, remember my background is math, so I love math. So please, please, please feel free to reach out to me and let me know. Um, so far what I've seen, group projects are looking great, the assignments are looking great. I know we're kind of up and down in some groups with participation. Please keep participating and uh, keep the good work coming, guys. You're on week 10 out of 14. We're kind of getting towards that tail end. So just keep it going. Here we are, five minutes. See ya.